Hi everyone, thank you for joining me in today's class. If you have a strap, please take it with you today. Uh, yoga belt and blocks. Blocks are optional, but as always, I encourage people to use props. Just have it nearby, just in case you will need it. When you are ready, come and sit into your most comfortable cross leg seated position, bringing the right leg in front of the left. Rest the hands on the knees for a moment. Find that sweet spot that will help you to relax here for a couple of breaths. When you are ready, bring the hands at the heart in Namaste. And let's take a few breaths here together. As always, to bring ourselves to the present moment, to bring ourselves to the yoga mat, to bring ourselves to this class. Inhaling deep and long and exhaling everything gradually out long and steady always inhaling and exhaling through the nose inhaling again and out three more like that inhaling and exhaling out. Let's chant three ohms on the next inhale. maybe with a smile releasing the hands and just stretch the legs here for a moment to release any tension pointing fingers forward the back a few times and then crossing back at the same way bringing the right leg in front of the left inhaling arms up bending into your left elbow bringing the left palm between the shoulder blades helping yourself with the right hand to bring that palm in between the shoulder blades making sure you're not rounding or arching into the back and when you're ready bring the right hand behind you and try to catch onto your left fingers and if that's not available for you just this is the moment where you could use the belt once more keep an neutral spinal making sure to not arch or round into the back keeping that left elbow pointing to the ceiling just breathing here one more exhaling out and inhaling arms up one more time exhaling twist to the right bringing your left hand on the right knee right hand behind you keeping upper body away from the lower back making sure you're not twisting from the lower back you're twisting from the shoulder making sure as well your neck it's okay with gazing towards the right shoulder one more breath here inhale exhale everything out inhaling back to center and switching the cross of the legs of the shins inhaling arms up once more bringing your bending into your right elbow this time and helping yourself with the left hand to bring that palm in between the shoulder blades Making sure once more you're not rounding or arching into the upper body. One thing I forgot to mention on the other side, just holding like this onto your elbow will be enough. So if for any reason you can catch onto your opposite hand, this will be enough. And again, remember we have the strap or a yoga belt that you can use. Breathe here, one more, tailbow in, shoulders relaxed, pointing the right elbow towards the ceiling and inhaling, arms up once more and this time twisting to your left, bringing your left hand behind you, right hand onto your left knee. Again, keeping upper body away from the lower back, 
twisting only as much as you can never forcing lower back gazing towards the left only as much as the neck allows you inhaling always away from the lower back and exhaling long steady gradually everything out coming back to center and keeping the sitting bones grounded onto your mat walk the hands away from you keep the lengthen in the upper body and exhale forward fold remember blocks are there to support you if the floor it's too far bringing the block under the forehead if it's needed again making sure to keep the sitting bones down into the ground walking the hands away from you stretching the sides of the body shoulders are away from the ears and relaxed Stay here for a couple of breaths, long inhale always, and equally exhaling everything. On the next inhale, bring the head up, walk the hands back towards you, remove the block if it's there, and again bring the hands in front of you, lifting yourself onto the hands and knees, separating knees, hip apart, bringing shoulders above the wrist spreading fingers as wide as you can coming to our tabletop position again making sure to find a neutral spiner keep a long uh, mat in front of you so move towards the back and when you're ready walk the hands towards the front corner of your mat exhaling in our puppy pose once more Bring the chin down or forehead down, keeping the sitting bones up towards the ceiling. Again, relaxing the shoulders, breathing long, steady, gradually. Support your practice all the time with the breath. A few more breaths here, inhaling and out. Inhaling again and out. On the next inhale, lift the head up, walk the hands back towards you to the tabletop position, wrist under the shoulders, knees are right under your hips, inhaling right arm up, exhaling right arm right underneath your left armpit, bringing the right cheekbone down right side of the face down extending the left arm towards the front of the mat maybe keeping the left hand on the fingertips stretching well making sure right shoulder it's okay and if you wish bring the left hand behind the back trying to reach for the left side of the cages once more, support your practice. Make sure you're comfortable here. Breathing one more. Inhaling. Exhaling. Breathing out. And when you're ready, bring that left hand next to the face. Inhaling, right arm up. Coming out of the pose. And exhaling, coming back to tabletop. Switching sides. When you are ready. Inhaling, left arm up to the ceiling and exhaling. Bring that left hand all the way underneath the right armpit, threading the needle here. Left side of the cheekbone comes on the mat. Right arm extend towards the front of the mat. Or once more, feel free to do the bind, trying to reach for your opposite side of the rib cages or your inner thigh any of this variation that works for you go ahead breathing always support the practice all the time beautiful when you are ready bring your right hand back at the top of the mat and slowly bring the right hand closer to you lifting yourself up on the next inhale extending left arm all the way up to the ceiling and exhaling left arm all the way back to our tabletop position beautiful always make sure to spread the fingers press the palms tuck the toes in navel to spinal inhaling in exhaling downward facing dog our first downward facing dog as always we take a moment here walking our dog maybe bending knee one at a time always making sure 
you release any tension. Sharpen the sitting bones, lengthen the upper body, always checking the neck, maybe saying yes and no with the head, always. Make sure to spread the fingers, press the palms, and when you're ready, walk towards the top of the mat, keep the feet hip apart, inhaling halfway up, exhaling to fall, and inhaling, round yourself all the way to standing, beautiful. Take a moment here, rolling shoulders back a few times, maybe two or three times, and through two or three times forward. Beautiful. Bring the hands in front of you. Your right arm crossing the top of the left. Hold on to the opposite shoulder blades, lifting elbows away from the ground. Your feet are still hip apart and parallel to each other. Exhaling, rounding into the back on the inhale coming back up releasing and then just crossing changing the cross of the arms one more time lift the elbows away from the ground holding opposite shoulder blades inhaling the elbows away from the ground and on the exhale nice round into the upper body stretching well and on the inhale come all the way up and release beautiful Crossing a few times, left arm under the right and right under the left. Just switching sides. Beautiful. When you are ready, take your strap, keep it nearby. Coming back on the mat, interlocking fingers behind the back. Feet are still hip apart, bringing right index finger on top of the left. And once more, if you can do that, just make sure to use the belt. Inhaling, slightly gazing up, exhaling forward, forward. Bring the arms, knuckles towards the ground and above. Above the head, shift the weight forward onto your toes. Bringing equal weight, toes and heels. Once more, long neck, heavy head. Stay here a couple of breaths. Don't fight the gravity. Let your head be heavy. Let your neck be long. Beautiful. One more breath. And on the next inhale, rise. The head is always the last one to come up. Releasing for a moment. And then changing the interlock of the fingers one more time. Stretch the knuckles down towards the ground. Stretch the elbows. Inhaling here. Keeping tailbone in. Feet are parallel to each other and hip apart. And on the exhale, forward fold. One more time. Feel free to use a belt if this is not available for you. Shift the weight forward onto the toes, keeping equal weight onto the toes and heels. Long neck, heavy head one more time. Opening the shoulders, stretching well. And on the next inhale, come all the way up, halfway up. Exhaling, release fingertips in front of you. Inhaling again to a flat back. Holding here for a moment. And exhale, forward fold. Stepping back to a downward facing dog taking a few breaths here again lengthening upper body always spread the fingers press the palm sharpen sitting bones gaze at the top of the mat step the right foot in between the hands and walk towards the center of your mat bringing feet parallel to each other again toes in heels out inhaling halfway up exhaling there and inhaling all the way up Hands at the hips, inhaling arms up. One more time, bend onto your right elbow, left hand behind, coming into that bind we did earlier. And again, using a belt if this is not available. On the exhale, forward, forward, into our modified Prasarita Padottanasana, trying to bring the right elbow down into the ground if it's available again not forcing anything remember the strap it's there to help you if you need it once more keep equal weight onto the heels and toes beautiful inhaling halfway up 
exhaling there and inhaling all the way up the head it's always the last one to come up keeping the bind turn the right toes forward towards the front of your mat and stepping the left knee down coming into a low lunge still holding your bind inhaling slightly back bending here always making sure you keep the upper body away from the lower back you're not hurting and when you're ready tuck the back toes in and lift up to a high lunge beautiful take a moment here right toes right heel inside outside of the foot pressing down kicking through the back heel till and always inhaling away from the lower back and when you're ready pushing through the right heel extend the front leg turn sideways on the mat once more bringing feet parallel to each other and turning towards the back of the mat your ten toes are all pointing forward you're rolling uh, bending into the back knee and stepping into a low lunge rolling left outer hip back right outer hip forward once more inhaling gently back bending here make sure this is not hurting lower back support the practice with the breath beautiful tuck the back toes in if they are not there yet and extend the back leg into a high lunge once more, left toes, left heel inside the outside of the foot, pressing down. Inhale away from the lower back. Keep the right elbow pointing up to the sky. And when you're ready, extend the front leg. Turn towards the center of the mat, releasing the bind. And just to stretch a little bit here, releasing any tension. Bring the left arm towards the right and hold. Bending into the right elbow, holding the arm with the right hand right elbow stretching the left shoulder a little bit and when you're ready release inhaling arms up once more and switching sides bend onto the left and bring the left palm between the shoulder blades remember you can help yourself with the opposite hand and again make sure to use a strap if you need it I personally need it on this side I'm not so flexible like on the other side so I'm going to use a bell coming into our prasarita forward fold on the exhale our modified prasarita padutanasana once more make sure to bring equal weight onto the toes and heels trying to bring that left elbow in the crown of the head all the way to the ground without forcing anything always inhaling away from the lower back exhaling supporting the practice with the breath one more breath here long inhale always long exhale take your time always in the poses and slowly when you are ready on the next inhale come all halfway up exhaling there and then all the way up holding the bind turning towards the back of the mat towards the left foot left leg and stepping back knee down into a low lunge maybe keeping the back toes in for a better balance inhaling away from the lower back again gently back bending here and when you are ready come back to center and extending the back leg into our high lunge still holding that belt still holding that bind when you're ready push through the left heel extend the left leg and switch sides. turn towards the right leg towards the front of the mat stepping back knee down left knee down inhaling away from the lower back again gently back bending here keep the back toes in and when you're ready extend the back leg. once more coming into a high lunge beautiful left outer hip rolls forward right outer hip rolls back you are inhaling away from the lower back beautiful right toes right heel inside outside of the foot pressing down and when you're ready extend once more the front leg releasing coming towards the center of the mat releasing the belt and 
again stretching this time the right shoulder releasing if there's any tension there extending your right arm towards the left side of the mat bending into that left elbow and holding there for a moment beautiful releasing turn towards the front of the mat once more rolling left outer hip forward right outer hip to the back bending into the front knee coming into a warrior one this time so make sure your back heel is down this time interlocking fingers behind the back inhaling away from the lower back and on the exhale forward fold into a humble warrior bringing yourself inside your right inner thigh and if this is too much you can always rest the right side of the torso of the body on your right hip on your right upper leg long neck heavy head again opening shoulders in our humble inhaling halfway up exhaling to let go stretching the front leg and changing the interlock of the finger stepping at the top of the mat switching sides step the right foot back heel to heel left outer hip rolls forward right outer hip rolls back inhaling away from the lower back and on the exhale humble warrior on the left side remember long neck heavy head use a strap if this is not available for you for your hands stretching opening well beautiful one more breath here inhaling halfway up exhaling there and inhaling coming all the way up to a warrior one extending arms to the ceiling beautiful exhaling frame the left foot and step back to downward facing dog stretching well lengthening upper body maybe moving hips from side to side beautiful on the next exhale drop the knees down walk the knees forward and sit extending legs in front of you bringing feet and legs together rolling outer hips to the inner thighs pointing toes up pushing through the heels inhaling arms up exhaling fold and again maybe using the strap placing on the balls of the feet and fold into a Paschimottanasana making sure again to inhale away from the lower back always and on the exhale bringing crown of the head towards the toes rather than forehead to the knees still kicking through the heels pointing toes up inhaling come all the way up and when you're ready bring the palms hands behind you with the fingers pointing towards the top of the mat pressing the ground away from you on the next inhale coming into a purvottanasana pointing the toes towards the front gazing up at the ceiling don't drop the head in the back to choke yourself keep the hips high don't collapse into the hips maybe squeezing glutes holding here and on the exhale slowly lower down beautiful bending into the knees walk yourself towards the knees bring the knees closer to you inhaling again away from the lower back hugging knees on the exhale bringing forehead on the knees holding here for a moment taking a moment and slowly inhale head up coming back to a tabletop bringing yourself all the way exhaling yourself all the way down on the belly release the back of the feet extend the arms to a letter T bend into your right knee and with your right hand help yourself to push your right foot all the way to the opposite side of the mat keeping the left side of the cheek left side of the face down into the ground bringing right foot all the way down four corners of the right foot are down right knee is up to the ceiling again opening shoulders here left shoulder in this case making sure you're not keeping tension just breathe here one breath exhale and then slowly come back to center 
center, switching sides, bend onto your left knee with the left hand, push yourself on the opposite side, bringing left foot towards the right side of your mat, keeping the arms to that letter T still, right side of the cheek, right side of the face remains down on the ground. This is helping a lot to open the shoulders, make sure this is okay for you. Always remember to support your practice. And when you're ready, come back to center. Adjust yourself at the center of the mat once more. Rest for a moment. Forehead on the mat. We're gonna move into a Dhanurasana both pose. Slowly bending into your left knee. Right knee catching you on the top of the foot or ankle if it's available with your hands. And on the next inhale, simultaneously, you're going to lift everything up. Upper body, knees, head. Your feet are going to resist your hands. Your hands are going to resist your feet. And together, they're going up towards the sky. Try to not let your knees separate too wide on the side. Try to keep them as close as possible towards each other. Already inhale, rise, everything lifting up simultaneously. Remember, resisting hands to the feet and feet to the hands. Push the heart forward, lift the chest away from the ground and slowly exhale. Take a moment here, bring the palms on top of each other, forehead on the hands. Take a moment, take a breather here, relax. And when you're ready, push yourself back onto the knees, walk the knees forward and cross the legs, sitting back again on the knee. Take a moment here, cross legs, maybe sitting on the block if you have it, resting the hands on the knees or thighs. I love to sit on the block, it helps me keep the spine upright and straight. We take a few rounds of Ujjayi breath. I love Ujjayi. It's one of my favorite breathing exercises. So you will only have to change the pattern of your breathing, creating that hissing sound in your throat, inhaling and exhaling the same way out. Long, steady, gradually just for you and nobody else. Again, a few more together. divine light within me honors the divine light within me. Namaste. Thank you so much again for practicing with me today. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Thank you, thank you, thank you.